There's one camera I am not getting rid of, the Blackmagic production camera, 4K. In this video, I wanna show you how I was able to fix footage that looks like this and made it look like this. Now, this is not Cinema DNG raw footage. This is ProRes HQ. A lot of cameras shoot it, so this applies no matter what you're shooting on. But let's dive into how we get there. This will be a very basic color grading, color correcting course. If you're new to this, it's easy to follow along to. I'm using Resolve, but you can use anything that has color wheels and color curves. So let's dive into it. It's obviously very underexposed. I normally start on the vector scope, but we need to bring some more information into the scopes before we color balance. So the first thing we wanna work on is exposure. And in that case, I'm going to open up the waveform. I'm gonna start with the gain. I'm gonna raise the gain up quite a bit. Okay, so we're starting to get somewhere now. I'm gonna raise the gamma to just a 0.24. We have some good mid detail now that we've opened up our gain so much. I'm gonna bring the lift down a little bit here. Basically where the shadows touch zero on the waveform. Our exposure is now in a workable range. I have the mid detail at 25. The B camera is a Sony A7. Uh, I believe it's an a the A7S III. So I'm going to be matching that footage. All right, so next up, we're gonna do a little bit of color balancing. So for this, I am going to go into the vector scope. In the center of all of this, I want to move that towards the center and take a look at our picture. You know, so here's where it was before. Obviously a little bit more of a yellow cast to it. So I move that towards the middle. We have a little bit more of a balanced image with this. And if you take a look at what we're doing here in the waveform, if you look in the shadows, you can see, see that separation of the blue and the white. I'm gonna try to sandwich that together so it's a little more balanced. And then same thing with my gamma, or the midtones. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going underneath the wheels so I can adjust those numbers or I can grab the dot in the middle. So far, we've taken this image from this to this and pretty happy with it. We're not finished, but we've fixed a lot of the issues with it. So if I look at my scopes now, you can see the shadows are more aligned to where they need to be. There's a little bit of a yellow cast I'm seeing on the wall behind him. And I know that because if I look at footage from the Sony versus this, so the way that I wanna fix this yellow cast is within the LUT node. And I'm going to use my curves. So I'm going to put two anchor points on the outside of the yellow so that when I put an anchor point there, I can lower the yellow. Now our wall looks like it matches the other footage. If you're not sure how to color grade or where to start, just start, go in there and mess around with the dials. But understand the color wheels and exposure and the color curves and how the nodes work. And it's a starting point for you because the rest will just fall into place. Once you get, once you put your foot on the gas pedal and you know where the brake is, you can learn what all the other features are on this car and kind of take your journey from there, if that helps. So thank you again so much for watching. It means a lot. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'd love to know what you're shooting on. I have a new camera coming up for some projects I'm working on, but I am keeping this. I'm happy with this camera right here. This is a beast, I love it. So thank you again, everybody. See you around.